For, 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 for the benefit of our viewers, uh, uh, it's good to, to break it down. Yes, please. So, of course, you know, I, I would break it in terms of energy and management. When we talk about management, we know what we are talking about. Yes. You know that, you know, when you're managing something, you are, you are, you are looking at how The you checks are. and balances. Yes, the checks and balances. But now, this, we're talking about energy. Yes. I think that's where, you know, we know HR management, that one we're familiar with. Yes. But now we're talking about energy. So what does that really entail? So, so basically, energy, you know, you are looking at, uh, uh, for example, let me say, uh, in, in your house. Uh, let me just make it that simple. Yes. So in your house, you, you know, you go home and you switch on your lighting and you switch on your TV and you expect them to be on. So when there is no uh, energy or power, they won't come on. So that is... Uh, when we're talking about energy, that is what we mean. From a corporate, of course, perspective, for example, uh, 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 commercial and industrial entities, you know, they have their supply from Kenya Power, you know, supplying their, their, their energy. In the absence of Kenya Power, they normally have backup uh, uh, sources like generators to, to, to act as an alternative to still power the operations. So when you're talking about energy, you know, you're talking of uh, either electricity or, or diesel, you know, uh, uh, or other sources, it can also be renewable like solar, you know, to, to power your operations. So when you are talking about management, you are looking at the cost of, of utilization of such energy resources. Uh, and you are looking at what is coming in and what is going out. Mm -hmm. Efficiency. And, yes. Mm 